a lot of students have this wish that they study concepts of higher classes right for example you are studying in class 7th and you want to study chapters of class 8th or 9th or you are in class 9th you want to study 10th or 11th or something like that okay today we are going to discuss exactly that i'm going to give you three tips for doing exactly this and how you can study chapters which are not in your syllabus okay at least take care of these three things which i'm going to say because if you don't you will struggle okay before beginning if you are new to the channel do consider subscribing and pressing the bell notifications i'm not saying this for the sake of subscribers i'm saying this so that you get recommended these videos in your feed if you don't turn on the notifications especially then they won't come and you will miss out on these videos so the first point is to complete your current class okay and here i would like to say two things first study your ncrt or whatever board you are in so let's say you are in icsc board right then complete your icsc book first that is the number one piece of advice which i would give you what a lot of people do is that they study everything other than their own class this is not advisable because you will not be able to understand higher class material unless you are done with your own class first okay are you clear with that so please study your own basic book and again please note i have said basic book i have written ncrt or whatever the equivalent of your board book is and second is to not study refreshers okay what i mean by this is that there are a lot of books right for example uh, there is rd sharma rs agarwal or pradeep and all these kinds of books i highly advise you to stay away from them why because for board exams you don't need anything more than this basic book and past papers plus good attention in class if you do that much you will do well in your board exams you don't need any of these books if you study these books you will put a lot of your time into this rd sharma rs agarwal pradeep this that all these kind of books and they will prepare you for your boards i'm not saying they will not but if you are someone who wants to do well in their je later on or you want to do well in olympiads and all of those things then you cannot spend your time on these kind of books you have to study higher classes books okay so that would be my second point first point is important that study only your basic level book for your board exams and uh, study past year papers you should do well in your board exams i personally studied only my school books for board exams and i scored the first rank in all my school exams ever okay so you don't need anything more than that that much i can guarantee and if you follow the second point the first point will automatically be taken care of you will automatically be able to do these kind of books second is study two classes forward okay what does this mean so if you have noticed Uh, I'm talking about the CBSE or the NCERT book here. In ICSE, it could be a bit different. Okay, since most of you are studying in NCERT or CBSE board, I will take that example. But I am pretty sure this applies to other boards as well. You can check it. So, if you check the textbook of class seventh, you will see that it has topics in common with class ninth, and your class ninth textbook has the same topics as class eleventh. For example, motion in straight line. You are taught a bit about motion in class seventh. Then you are taught again in class ninth. and then you are taught again in class 11th now let's talk about electricity electricity is in class 7th yes it is then it sorry electricity is in class 8 it is not in class 7th okay in class 8 there is a detailed section on electricity then it is is there in 9th no it's not it is again in 10th and it is again in class 12th 11th mein aapko electricity nahi milne wala similarly if you look at maths and chemistry also more or less this is followed for example metals metals chapter there is in 8th it is there check it is it there in 10th yes it is there is it in 9th no is it in 11th no in 12th there is a chapter on metals so the books are made in this kind of a fashion so if you are let's say in class 7th i would highly suggest you to first of all complete your class 7th ncrt okay and once you are done with that you can start 9th ncrt don't study 8th book okay why because class 8th book will have a lot of topics which you don't know you will be studying them for the first time it is much better If you study the same chapter which are class seventh, but you study in from class ninth, this is a much better approach. Or if you are in class ninth and you have let's say you are studying Newton's laws of motion, so instead of studying electricity from class tenth, which you are anyway going to do, it is better to study motion or NLM or whatever it is you are studying from class eleventh directly. Okay, that would be my advice. Now, if you get time, you can study class tenth as well. Now you will find class tenth easier because you have now reached class eleventh level. okay this is personally what i myself did for example when i was in class 9 i was preparing for ij so right so i studied the mechanics portion of hcr ma first because uh, i was already studying nine, uh, all of those things in class 9 so there was some kind of familiarity 
okay and when i got time i studied class 10 or concepts also and so this would be the approach first you study after 9 study 10, 11th then study 10th and then you are done with 10th you can go to 12th and this doesn't have to happen in one year no one expects you to study all four uh, classes in one year okay so there is nothing hard and fast about this but please keep this in mind that syllabus is more or less the same every two years so i would suggest you to study two two classes forwards okay so if you're in seventh if you want to study something out of syllabus after you're done with this then study class nine syllabus that would be my advice okay and the third advice would be to practice more questions make your preparation question oriented a lot of people in class 9 10 who are of this kind who will study chapters of other classes they are usually the Einstein Newton kind of people as in people who are very enthusiastic about science okay I was myself one of those students who are very enthusiastic about all of this okay and when you are enthusiastic about something like science or maths it is very easy to become lost in proofs and conjectures and theories and all of those things please don't okay uh, I know it's a very hard ask it's not an easy thing to say to a student who is very enthusiastic about science but the truth about all of this is that in the end your JE score is what matters the most okay a lot of you I know want to be researchers I myself wanted to be a researcher but most of you are not going to do that most of you are going to do a job in software or finance or you'll start your own business or something like that most of you will or I mean at least the ones who are ambitious at least the ones who are talented will do something like that okay and there's nothing wrong with it it's actually uh, I mean one of the worst things about this science thing is that people have some kind of a moral superiority like people consider pursuing pure sciences to be morally superior for some reason I don't know why which is completely not true okay so anyway why am I saying all of this the point is that later on what matters the most is questions because what matters the most is your marks even if you want to be a scientist you will have to clear some exam you will have to clear some Olympiad something you'll have to do right and in that nobody cares about theory everyone cares about questions and questions and questions alone okay so even if you are someone ki you know J I am bigger than J I don't give a damn about J I will prepare for Olympiads even if you think like that you will have to do well in questions you will have to solve problems and for that reason I'm out no I mean for that reason uh, you will have to focus more on questions questions pe zyada dhyan dijiye problems zyada banaiye theory bhi padhe lekin questions pe zyada dhyan dijiye mujhe lagta hai ye ek mistake maine ki thi 9 10 mein ki main bahut zyada theory mein laga rehta tha questions kiye the lekin i think aur kar sakta tha shayad halanki result to sare acche hi rahe the koi fark nahi pada i mean shayad agar itna karna tha maine problems itna kiya to aur maine theory itna kar liya tha i think ye ratio rakhta to bhi koi fark nahi padta okay anyway all's good that all's well that ends well so it didn't affect me but a lot of you might get affected if you focus a lot more on theory so i hope ye teeno points aapko clear hue ho aur agar aapko aur help chahiye to aap hamare foundation courses mein ja sakte ho fir aapko ye sab karne ki zarurat hi nahi aap hamare foundation jay foundation course mein enroll hote ho usme aapko sabse pehle aapke 9th 10th ke lectures mil jate hain wo padho fir aapko hum usme advanced lectures bhi dete hain jo aapke 9th 10th ki classes ko uplift karke aapko 11 12 level tak bhi leke jate hain okay and we give you practice sheets with complete solutions we provide you a test series with complete solution everything is there link is in description sari details wahan par aapko mil jayengi demo lectures wagaira sab kuch niche mil jayega theek hai dekh lena it's at a very good price as well so i hope ye teeno baat aapko pasand aayi ho pasand aayi ho to like subscribe wagaira kare koi query ho to aapko bhi video request karni ho mere social handles description mein diye hue hain aap pe aap mujhe follow kar sakte hain aur kuch bata sakte jo bhi hai and bas course ka link bhi description mein good luck bye